What's up YouTube? My name is Vitality Wonder and today we have the updated computer setup guide. Alright, this is the new computer. It's about it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. Haven't really been able to with horrible connections well over half a second paying it. I digress. It is pointless. Right here is that old 970. If you want me to test that versus my new GPU here. I can do that in a, another video. Just let me know in the comments how you would like to see that video. All right, now let's get down to the spec list here. All right, we've got poor, ignore the failure of the RGB lighting. It's software is having a little bit of fun right now, particularly with the RAM here, 32 gigs of 3000 megahertz. Corsair Vengeance RGB. I hate how I can't actually make this logo on the Cooler Master Neptune 240M, which is actually still from my old computer. It's still going strong. That is seated directly over the Intel Core i7 8700K. Hopefully soon I could upgrade to a 9900K once that thing drops. But it depends on availability and if that thing's even worth it. Anyways, moving on, we've got the MSI Gaming X 8 gig GTX 1080. This thing is a beast, particularly compared to this 970 over here. For the motherboard, we've got the MSI Z370 Godlike Gaming. Most of you are probably like, why? What was the point in that? Well, really wasn't a point. <laughs> I just got it because, well, <laughs> the point of this computer was overkill. And that's overkill. So, for the SSD here, we've got the Samsung 840 Evo 120 gig. This is soon to upgrade. Just haven't got the chance to do that. We've got for a power supply down here, the EVGA 1000 G2. And then a one terabyte Western digital hard drive tucked down the bottom here. And then all of this is encased and the NZXT H700i, which just barely fits the EATX. You could probably kind of see, barring the reflection, how close the motherboard comes to that bar, and it does move over a little bit, which it is now, so it could support EATX boards. Just barely fits. The rest of the setup, I've got here, down there, I've got my backup battery, which, if you have a computer, I highly suggest it. It'll protect your components from possible failures. I hate having to put it this right here. However, right now I kind of have to, because I don't really have the desk space, because this thing is tiny. have the Razer Huntsman Elite. If you want a little review of this, I could leave a comment. Y'all can leave a comment. Let me know if you want a review of this. And then the Razer Naga Trinity. And then also a review of Razer Synapse would go with it. And I'm going to post a video soon about the fix regarding Razer Synapse 3. Because it always reverts to the spectrum cycling. And then my poor little mouse mat here. <laughs> All right. For the monitor, got a Samsung 27 inch curved 1080p 60 hertz panel. Nothing special, which really doesn't give this computer any justice, but haven't got the time to upgrade that yet. It's better than this, which used to be my main monitor, which is a 21 and a half inch HP 2210M. Yes, some of y'all might get triggered by the fact that that is in military time. All right, and a few other things. I'm gonna load up CPU ID here. I don't wait on that to load. We do have indeed the Intel Core i7-8700K. It is running at 4.7 gigahertz. I do have multi-core enhancement on. Core, um, you can see here, I did put 25 more on the core and 500 on the VRAM. 
which this 970 here does have quite a good overclock profile. Got, I think I went to 500 on the VRAM and another 175 megahertz on the core. Performs just as fast as a 1066 gig roughly. After the perform overclocking performance, this thing really just doesn't want to do anything. And then you can see this poor old Elite controller. It's kind of worse for wear. But it works for playing Rocket League, which I do have down here. And then League of Legends, which two popular games I play with my eSports group at school. The group here in my eSports college group is fun. I'll be definitely doing some videos at some point with them. And that way y'all can kind of be included somewhat and see how it's like. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This has been Fatality Wonder. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe and let your friends know. Hopefully we can get this channel growing and have a great day. Bye.